massive commiserations on the day. I guess a performance that maybe you felt you left a little bit in the tank that maybe not, maybe not quite got out there. Oh, a little bit. I mean, a little bit. I mean, it, I, I don't want to sit here and say it was our best performance of the season because I don't think it was. But I'm, I'm a huge believer in you know, fin finals are about the winners, and I think that's really how, how they should be focused. There, I thought Saracens were very good. I thought they pinned their game together better than we did. You know, their, their, their kind of management of the game and the moments they came up with and how they worked then to exploit those into, into pressure into points was was very good. Um, and we didn't handle that well enough on the day. And I think. You know, I, I can be childish and, and kind of go about the, the bits and pieces we didn't do well or I was disappointed with, but ultimately you know, a fair bit of credit of that has to come down to Saracens. Um, some of the things we got wrong you, you can put down to pressure either on the scoreboard or from things that Saracens were doing. Um, and that's what we've got to learn from. You know, I, I, I've, got to, I've got to be honest and say we've got to, to move forward from now. The players have got to do the same. The, the most pleasing thing for me today is that the changing room felt a lot different to two years ago. When we lost two years ago, it just felt okay to be there. It really did. The changing room didn't just feel a nice place just now, um, and that's not because the players are unaware they've had a good season. You know, they know they've had a good season. They know they've achieved some things this year that we've never done before as a side. Um, but it didn't feel like a changing room that was happy or pleased or at the end of a journey. Um, and if I'm if I'm really honest, the most pleasing thing for me probably moving forward is that I think we were the on average the youngest Premiership team in the competition this year um, and we've got to a final and we finished top of the top of the log in the league um, and from a coaching perspective you've got to be massively enthusiastic about that that we've got to a final we've had a tough experience we've had a semi-final and came through that very well um, we've, got, we've still got an awful lot of players in that group who are learning to become international standard and the standard that win premierships um, and not yet reaching their potential and, and we've got to make sure that we keep driving that as hard as we can. And Rob, just finally for me, that word experience, I guess it's fantastic the experience that these players have had the next time. Do you feel maybe having made all those changes to a year ago that there was a little bit of lack of experience for this specific day, for this game? No, because my, my, job, isn't, my job isn't today. My job is the future of Exeter Chiefs. It always has been from the minute I took the job. Um, and these are the steps along the way that we take. And if I'd have diverted from the reasons why the changes in the team happened and the reason players have come through, you know, A, I wouldn't have been being true to myself and to the things we do at the club. And B, I would have, been, I would have halted our progress going forward. And, and, and more than anything, you'd have also seen guys potentially who are now international players might not even come on the scene. You know, Sam Simmons has played international rugby. What we're going to do? Not pick him because Tom Walters around. It doesn't work like that, you know. And I think that's that bit I'm very comfortable with. I'm very comfortable with the, the changes that happened. Um, could we have done with, with what, in one or two moments, one or two things differently? Of course we could. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that wasn't the case, but I'm not going to sit here and try and destroy myself with hindsight. Said over the last three weeks, so I've tried to manipulate the same 15 who, who played last year back into that team because that's just not what you've got to do. You know, my. We've got to go way beyond that. We've got to start looking at guys who can win us the next Premiership. And I've just said to the players, you've got choices now. When you lose a Premiership final, you can decide to be part of the part of the team that's going to build itself to win the next Premiership for Exeter. Or you can let things slip you by and go, well, have a blow. Done quite well the last three years. Well, those are the guys who will slip by and we'll, we'll drive it with a whole new set of players. That answers just about everything, guys, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? Oh, thank you.